Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be comparing um, the image to video or image to animation capabilities of Final Frame and Runway ML. I, I think um, Final Frame is newer and they've had a few upgrades, but Runway ML is like the goal when it comes to text to image or image to um, video. So we're just going to get started. And if you find this video useful, I hope you like and subscribe to get updated when we post new content. I have like a lot of AI tutorials coming your way. So let's get started. This is like the image we're going to be using today for um, the comparison. When you go to finalframe.net, you get uh, welcomed with this page and you can just drag and drop whatever image you want. Let's see the video. This is the video and it looks okay. The generation looks okay. There's motion, there's movement, but the background is actually moving more than the character itself. I have no idea why. You can click on um, download or extend to so extend the video to um, I think three more seconds to make it six seconds. Okay, there's movement, but I think the background is moving more than the character itself. The character seems to be floating now. I have no idea why. If you want to download, you can just click on export full frame and that's going to actually download the video. Let's try, let's try runway ML, man. let's see what happens. Let's drag and drop the same image into runway ML and click generate four seconds. Let's wait while it goes. As you can see, Runway ML made a really like a cleaner image. This is like a really, really good because the astronaut is actually moving and the background is still, but kind of shows like emotion in the background to show that the camera is actually panning and moving with the character. But meanwhile, final frame, the character seems to be floating. Now, the next image we're going to try is this pretty young lady that I generated with um, stable diffusion, um, the latest stable diffusion, stable diffusion is going zero. This dragon drop it into runway ML and see what happens. The dragon drop it also in final frame and wait for the both of them to generate so we can see who did a better job in the generation because this is like a head headshot and it's like a little bit tricky. Well, runway ML seems to just morph her face and try to like enlarge her face. I have no idea why it looks really weird. They didn't like do any animation. In. She's just like a zoom and expansion of her face. I have no idea why it do. Well, this is Final Frame. Final Frame actually wanted to give it life. Final Frame actually wanted to give it life. Why run run with ML wings for the expansion and the zoom in? I think I prefer Final Frame in this example. Final Frame did a better job. Let's try this realistic looking image I generated with tensor art. For some reason, Runway ML thinks the image is against their content policy. I have no idea why. She's not naked. She's just seems to be naked, but she's not actually naked. I have no idea. But Final Frame actually processed it and did a good job. Although they made the eyes a little bit sleepy or a little bit like high. Let's try this Disney looking character. Let's see what happens. This is a Disney character. While wow. Ronnie Emma actually changed the character to a totally different character. If you can compare, you can see there's a huge difference between the two characters. Wow, well, let's try Final Frame. A Final Frame animation seems to be lower quality, but the animation is like actually really consistent and coherent with the character. As you can see, they didn't change the character in any way. It's still the same character. Well, um, I forgot to mention, we are going to be trying the motion brush that has just been added to Runway ML. So let's drag and drop that image and see what we can do with the motion brush. So once you get to the um, motion brush editor, you can actually see some parameters. There's just three um, options below and one that's the size, change the size of the brush. The one at the top, you can see as I changed it, the size of the brush reduced then you can paint over where you want to see movement in the in your image you can reduce the size of the brush in paint then this is used to change the direction of the animation where you want it to go either horizontal or vertical 
and the proximity is actually used to um, change how when far or how close the brush is going to affect i think the generation like looks really really good they actually make the character to move the character in the shot to move and the background because i added a little bit of vertical movement i think it made the sky to move upwards but i think it's like really really good now if we drag and drop the same image without using a motion brush for it to animate let's see the result we're going to get the same image because i want to compare the image without the motion burst just a normal animation you can see it's messed up the animation messed up the character and we added a different character it goes to that character if you can see at the top left the middle left and it's just like a zooming the zooming is actually like good for this scene but it added this weird character by the side and this other character seems to have just disappeared i have no idea why well that's the actual animation this is clip drop in case you want to uncrop your image and it creates expanded frame as you can see clip drop and um, uncrop so we just expanded the image i dropped and i think this third frame looks good just expanded it although it looks like a really really warm inside well that's it for this tutorial i hope you found this tutorial insightful you can actually use final frame if you go to finalframe.net and play with the tools to see the animations you're going to come up with you might be surprised what thing you can generate with final frame they actually just added their text to video text to animation and you can play with that tool and see if there's something you enjoy using but i think wrong with ml is like has a lot of potential and i think wrong with ml is still like we go to when it comes to um, text to video or image to video